Greetings. Our group consists of David Lord, Katrina Curry, Adrian Brown, and Denise Oliver. We chose our presentation to be on Camtasia 8. And while that's loaded, I'm going to just um, let you know that we're just going to go over the essentials and basics of Camtasia Studio 8. TechSmith is the authors and creators of Camtasia Studio 8 and uh, Snagit. So let's begin. Here's our welcome screen. And within our welcome screen, we have the record, the screen area, the important media. And if we have any recent projects, they'll show up initially in this window. There's a free training um, that's provided, tutorials. Camtasia has tons of tutorials on their website, um, much like the one I'm doing now for basic training. Uh, Camtasia Studio Help, technical support documentation. They have a community um, area and their community goes from everything from newsletters to blogs. Let's scroll here quickly. They have the social media blog, um, the social media community where uh, friends uh, follow them and um, they provide inside scoop. Um, they give releases, new releases, time saving tips, giveaways, and things of that nature. Uh, the community, there's a newsletter, they get uh, product announcements, cu customer stories, free tutorials every month, email and um, inbox without all the fluff and um, all those ads and spam and things. And so the community also exists of education community, step by step, step tutorials for integrating technology and learning, inspiration and ideas education blog, um, the impact education using TechSmith products and of course this is significant to our group because we felt it was important enough to use the screen capturing software to share with you today. Well much like as I close the window much like um, the other softwares that we use like Word and uh, PowerPoint there's a ribbon and with the ribbon, it's familiar um, tools like File, Edit, View, Play Tools, and Help. But within this dashboard or ribbon, uh, of course, because this is a screen capturing and video editing tool software, that it's it's going to be some differences. So let's look on our file. There's the new project, open project, recent projects, um, save projects, save as produce and share and also gives you these uh, quick tools, quick shortcuts like control P means produce and share um, and as we continue to go down the file there's the import media, recent recordings, library, import zip project and exit. Edit tools of course similar to our Microsoft Office and uh, PowerPoint, the undo, redo, cut, copy, and paste. Unlike other softwares, there's the remove from the timeline, remove from clip bin, which those, uh, the clip bin contains our videos and different clips that we may have. Split, uh, we can split videos, split all, split individually, uh, add to library, extend frame. Of course, when we talk about frames, that's video. Uh, that's video footage. We can take um, a frame and extend it uh, for a longer duration. Uh, clip speed, we can speed up a certain part. Say um, I've done makeup tutorials. Um, I have done um, tutorials where we're cooking or we're demonstrating something. And I'll fast forward certain areas because um, it may have taken three or four minutes to, to whip up a meringue or um, in cooking rather or um, in a craft project it may have taken a long time with the wrench to tighten something so I would speed that up the image duration of course it, it is what it is uh, image how long will it take um, can I shorten it can I make it uh, more lengthy 
generate key stroke call outs, captions, markers, smart focus. And you can add the smart focus to apply to uh, single clips, uh, certain clips, selected clips, or apply to the entire timeline. View, there's a clip, clip bin like we spoke about before where we have our videos located. Library, show marker view, show quiz view, hide captions, project, canvas, timeline, time snapping. Okay, and let's go to the play. Um, we can play from the beginning, we can play from the center, um, play in different um, directed places that we have, play, um, stop, step backwards, step forward, jump to a beginning, end, previous clip, as I was saying before, next clip, previous marker, next marker. And here's our tools. Um, our tools are very important because we can use the um, record to screen option and we can record PowerPoint. We can, it'll pop up the PowerPoint option. I'm going to close that quickly. Okay, now I have solved it. Let me wait for a moment. I did want to show that. We can back to our tools. We have voice narration, record camera, audio. We can zoom and pan within our uh, clips, visual properties, cursors. We can make those cursors a different color, whether we want it orange or yellow or blue. We have call outs, transitions are much like the transitions we use in PowerPoint where we use the blind, the checkered board uh, transition, things of that nature, the gradients and things of that nature, captions, quizzing, studio tools, of course that's back to the recorder, the player. Screencast is specific to Camtasia because it's by TechSmith and it's a platform that they have chosen to where we can use and share and produce our um, videos or our tutorials or, or whatever we're choosing uh, for our web-based instruction. Uh, sharing, uh, we can use batch production, upload media to FTP, which is simply uh, using web-based files where we upload to uh, the, the web uh, speech, speech properties, options. Okay, I want to get to this portion quickly. Uh, record the screen. Um, we can record the PowerPoint as I shared earlier. We can import media. I'm going to import media from a drive that I have, my jump drive and I'm going to go select a video okay. so I'll wait till that starts to pull up so I can see it so it, it'll import and let's check out the produce and share the produce and share we of course the screencast is significant uh, specific to TechSmith and uh, Camtasia as I was saying earlier but we can share YouTube but there are also other options and we'll take a look at that um, further on where you can produce to MP4 mobile devices things of that nature so say I want to bring this clip down to what we call the platform the, or the track I'm going to bring that down um, a track and oftentimes on these tracks um, because the video portion is usually blue and the audio um, those up and down sound looking uh, recordings um, is usually on another track but because I, I'm importing a clip uh, that's an mp4 it's all inclusive so um, if, but if I wanted to add some sound on the other track, I could do that, you know, like a um, music or something of that nature. So let me move this a little forward. 
and I'm going to start to play this. What I want to show you is how we can pause it. And if I did not want that beginning, say I didn't want all of this, and I just wanted to start here, I could take that part that I didn't want, I could split it, then I could cut it, and then I will no longer have that portion where it says um, the branding. And it would start right from the animation that I had my name is earlier. Curry and that will be your so let's guide say I wanted to add a call out. I could add a call out. And well, for this tonight, um, going video, to... I'm going to make a, a rather um, loud color. I want to fill that with a loud yellow. And I'm going to have a very blue um, border. I'm going to use the effects to flip it horizontally and it's going to point in my video to here to the PowerPoint option in this area so I have the duration I believe I want and I'm going to play and there it is right involved and I can shorten that duration we're going to Go by over. I'm going to be using getting Camtasia, here. which is a screen recording software and also so I'm going to use PowerPoint and let's play from about right here save time your instructional guide for this so I just moved it and move the duration okay tonight we're going so that's to a quick overview over. of some of the tools that to we can use Camtasia, with Camtasia it's just a brief recording software um, tutorial and let's also, produce this I'm going to use for instance if I wanted to go ahead and produce and it produce and share I'm really trying I would to produce and share and I would have the option to go to screencast YouTube MP4 uh, HD so MP4 which starts at 720 uh, MP4 video player 480 um, and other options uh, production setting custom production setting settings but the thing is um, Camtasia can be used effectively on the web uh, for sharing, emailing, and things of that nature. And thank you for joining us for this